here. It's got four holes in it. Those four holes match to four splines on this piece. This is called the cone, synchro cone. You can see those match together. The way the synchro works is this is the inner synchro. It just sits right there, floats around. The cone fits over it, locks into the gear. Synchro is still free to move. Outer synchro has these notches on the inside which mate with the notches on the inner synchro, like so. So when the gear is not engaged, these can just float around freely while this inner ring moves with the gear. When it's time to shift into gear, there's something called a hub slider which has mating teeth that match here. And this attempts to slide over in order to engage the gear and while it does, it pushes all the synchros together which locks them against the gear so that they don't turn at all. And it's kind of like applying brakes to the gear. So the speeds match. And well, when it's all assembled, this slides on and locks into the side gears on, this, on the uh, main gear. So that's kind of how it works without having all the pieces assembled. <laughs> all right. Is that a take?